Yeah, I'm supposed to be the guy who's out there winning huts and mines. Or at least that's what most of the commanders and congressmen back home think. In actuality, I've been specifically trained to analyze political, social, and economic climates all over the world and to give instruction on how best to proceed, whether it be an armed incursion or a simple nonviolent support mission. But do I get to do that? No. Most of the time, they got me shuttling around the desert with a briefcase full of cash, a security detail, and an interpreter, paying local warlords and hajis off because one of our guys accidentally shot one of their prized camels, or a JDAM took out a herd of goats. Real high-level stuff, I tell you. Half the time, I'd swear to God, these guys just shoved a mortar round up the rear of one of their own livestock and blew it up themselves just to make some quick US cash. Talk about wasting resources. But what are you gonna do, right? And if I see one more of these guys selling goat kebabs on the fob that are clearly riddled with shrapnel, I'm gonna go tell one of their warlord buddies that they've been working with US forces and taking our money. Don't try double dipping on Uncle Sam. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Although we will sometimes pay them off if we nuke one of their sheep. Go figure.